let us come back and learn the next uh, preparation methods of your potassium permanganate. Simple. So, in chemical oxidation method, I will just write a simple uh, equation. If it is, I think, uh, please memorize it. Very easy actually. In chemical oxidation, <coughs> I am going to again take the same K2MnO4, that is your potassium manganese. And what am I going to do? I am going to reduce chlorine gas to this. When I introduce this chlorine gas, immediately what happens? Chlorine comes out or precipitates out as potassium chloride, chloride salt. Done. Along with this, now what it does is, I am going to take two moles of this. So, total of four, isn't it? Now, this particular thing, potassium with KCl2 comes out as potassium chloride. And the leftover, now we still have two, isn't it? Total four, two have already come out. We have two potassiums that comes out, precipitates out as 2KMnO4. Now, this is your purple colored solution. Now this this is further evaporated, right? And, <clears throat> and when you try to evaporate this, it's going to form crystals of K mono four. Purple crystals of K mono four. This is how we are going to prepare from chloric Now. Next important thing here electrolytic oxidation. In electrolytic oxidation, whenever we speak about electrolysis process, we just speak about dissociation into anion, cation, cation going to a cathode and anion going to the anode and finally uh, writing the, like, the total uh, reaction, yes, yes or no, let us see. So in electrolytic oxidation method, important thing, you are going to pick up your potassium manganate. This one, I am going to take uh, uh, like uh, the whole thing in an alkaline medium. When I take it in an alkaline medium, this is going to dissociate into 2K plus, <coughs> plus MnO4 minus 2. Correct? Yes. Now, this is your manganate ion. Now, I said alkaline medium, the solution part. So, water also dissociates into 2H plus plus OH minus Right now, basically, it is like this, isn't it? H2O. If you like, we, we should write like this H plus plus OH minus, not a problem. <coughs> but uh, okay, write like this. I'll tell you what to do later. Right, better. Now, what's going to happen? Now, this is your anion and this is your cation. Now, try to make two cell reactions. Anodic reaction first, where always oxidation process occurs. Cathodic reaction where always reduction process occurs. Oxidation is loss of electrons or a reduction is gain of electrons, isn't it? This is loss of electrons. Reduction is gain of electrons. This is what you have studied, isn't it? Oil rig. Oil rig. What is this? Oxidation is loss, a reduction is gain. Common thing which you have studied in your schools. Done. Now here anodic reaction, what will come here? Anion is going to come and cathodic reaction, cation. Now what is anion this reaction? MnO4 minus. So MnO4 minus 2. What is this ion? This is your <coughs> manganate ion. So manganate ion, what is the color of manganate ion? It is green color. Further, it is going to get converted because it is going to lose electrons. How many electrons is it going to lose? This is going to lose MnO4, isn't it? It is going to lose the C. First, it is going to get converted to MnO4 minus 1. One electron has already gone. It has to lose one electron. So, one electron here. Now, observe. This is manganate ion. MnO4 minus 2 is manganate. Now, MnO4 minus 1 is permanganate ion. This is MnO4 minus is permanganate ion. The color of manganate, uh, so manganate is green color and the color of permanganate is purple, which you are seeing. Done. Now, how many electrons are here? One electron. Now, from anodic compartment, this electron travels to the cathodic compartment. What cation do we have? We have H+. plus. This H plus is going to pick up this electron here and it is going to become H hydrogen. Now, when I have to take one more hydrogen, this combines with one more hydrogen. Okay, let us write two hydrogens. Yes, <coughs> because if I take two here, it will become two H, isn't it? So, two hydrogens will form hydrogen gas. This hydrogen gas evolves out of the cathode. Now, still we are not done. We still have not prepared the potassium permanganate. 
Now this potassium permanganate, and sorry, this permanganate and this potassium together combines. It is there in the reaction cell, isn't it? So they they these are taken and finally they are concentrated. Means they are going here concentrated to that certain uh, 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 time till that all the moisture, whatever is there, everything evaporates out, and that during this concentration, the process of evaporation takes place. Yes, this evaporation. Once it is evaporated, you are left out in the test tube. What is left out, or in the beaker, the left out is the crystalline form of KMnO4. So your KMnO4, this KMnO4, this K, <coughs> the crystalline form, you get as a purple color crystal, purple colored crystals. Crystals. That's it. So hydrogen gas already uh, escapes out, or uh, between it is in the cathodic compartment which escapes out. I'm left with potassium permanganate, purple color crystals in the electrolytic cell, which can be because already they've taken and evaporated, and we finally got that uh, uh, compound which we are uh, trying to prepare. So now this is one preparation for chemical oxidation method. This is one preparation electrolytic method. Now let us meet again with the lab method for preparation of KMnO4.